Strikes on oil refineries bleed Russia and aid Ukraine on front line. Ukraine has again attacked Russian oil refineries hundreds of kilometers from the border. Based on the dynamics, the attacks can already be called systematic and this week, according to some estimates, they could have disabled more than 10% of Russia's facilities, according to RBC Ukraine. This week, Ukraine attacked several refineries. According to a source in the Ukrainian Defense Forces, the attacks were part of a series of special operations launched by the Security Service of Ukraine. We are systematically implementing a well-calculated strategy to reduce Russia's economic potential. Our task is to deprive the enemy of resources and reduce the flow of oil money and fuel that Russia directs directly to the war and the killing of our citizens, he says. These are attacks on refineries in Ryazan, Nizhny Novgorod and Leningrad regions, which are among the top five Russian oil refineries. However, in recent days and weeks, Ukrainian drones have been hitting not only them. The Ryazan oil refinery of Rosneft, according to the Telegram channels, was attacked by at least three drones, resulting in a fire. The refinery processes about 12.7 million tons of oil per year, accounting for 5.8% of Russia's refining. The distance from the Ukrainian border to Ryazan is about 450 kilometers in a straight line. Kirishineft Orgsintes is controlled by Sergut Neftgaz and is Russia's second largest refinery. It processes about 7.7 .7 million tons of oil per year, or 6.4% of the total. According to Reuters industry sources, it produces 5.3% of Russia's gasoline, 7.6% of diesel, 16.3% of fuel oil, and 3.4% of jet fuel. Kirishi is located 800 kilometers from Ukraine. There are no confirmed reports of damage. The fourth largest refinery in the region, Norsi of Lukoil, processes about 15.8 million tons of oil per year, or 5.8% of the total. The UAV strike damaged the main crude oil refining unit, AVT6, which means that at least half of the production capacity has been shut down. The Novoshaktinsk oil products plant was shut down due to a drone attack. The Novoshaktinsk refinery is located almost near the border with the occupied Luhansk region, about 150 kilometers from the front line. It can be called a pioneer in attacks on such facilities. Since these refineries supply fuel and lubricants for equipment at the front, these are legitimate targets. Long-range drones are being used to strike factories deep in the Russian rear. На меня кажется выходить неху сейчас еще в е. сейчас это. А и что, это сердце? А? Красота, да? Что это как? Все грузится. Охренеть. Да вот он маленький, не долетит он с Украины, от нас запускает. Вон еще один. Пошел. 
Ja to biopo. Куда? 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 Да, 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 да. 